In this work, we solve motive preserving dynamic attributed network embedding problem by modules the high order structures and temporal evolution at the same time. I'm Zhi Jun Liu, pursuing my master degree in Yantai University. Dr. Chao Huang from Jingdong Finance, Professors Yan Weiyu and Jun Yudong from Ocean University of China. Networks in the real world often change dynamically. As time changes, some new nodes may be added to the network. Some old nodes may be deleted from the network. The edges in the network are often updated, increasing or decreasing. And node attributes may be changed. The basic question of dynamic attributed network embedding is how to embed historical dynamics into representation, which requires us to learn the embedding of nodes from the constantly changing network structure and attributes. However, it's difficult to completely model the dynamics of network using only the pairwise interaction between nodes. Previous studies have found that high-level structures in the network, such as network motifs, can have a significant impact on the dynamic evolution of the network. Different types of network motifs can be seen as different perspectives of feature propagation. Nodes may tend to interact in different ways at different times. For example, this red nodes initially focused on expanding its social circle and then gradually pursued more intimate social relationships. So the question too is how to use network motifs to assist in modeling dynamic network embedding. Combining the above two questions, what we are concerned about is how to use the relationship of pairwise nodes in the network to capture the direct chains of the network structure. And using the network motif to capture the node preference changes. Finally, the two dynamic features of the network are fused to obtain the embedding of the network. From the table, we can see the recent dynamic network embedding methods. They use various methods to solve question 1. Among them, CTDNE uses a random work with time constraints to model continuous time network dynamics. DYSAT uses a self-attention mechanism to capture the dynamic changes in the network. And Evolve GCN uses recurrent neural network to update the parameters of the graph convolution neural network to capture the dynamics of the network. Although these methods have their own advantages, whether they can optimally model the network dynamics still needs to be discussed. But they did not consider how to solve the question two. They are not considered how to use the high order structure of the network to assist in learning of dynamic embedding of network. Our goal is to provide a method that can consider the impact of high order structure on dynamic evolution and at the same time efficiently and more effectively model the dynamic evolution of the network. In order to achieve the above goals, we propose the motif-preserving temporal shift network. We first solve the problem of how to use the high-order structure of the dynamic network, given a timestamp graph, where t is the number of the time steps, a is the recency matrix, and the adjacency matrix of the network can only represent the direct proximity of nodes in the network. Therefore, most random works and graph neural networks on the adjacency matrix cannot well capture the local high-order structure proximities. 
However, different types of network motifs can reflect the proximity between nodes under different high-order connection modes. Follow previous research, may use motif matrix to represent the high-order structure of the network. Elements in the motif matrix indicate that the edge between node U and node V participates in the I motif types J times. MPE will run on the network at each independent time step. We use the power of the adjacency matrix and the motif matrix to propagate the features of the node. In this way, MPE will capture the direct interaction and high-order structure proximities between nodes in the network from multiple perspectives. Then, the direct and local high-order structure embeddings from these two aspects are fused to the dynamic network embedding. However, the above method can only capture the static structure of the network. As we all know, two-dimension convolution neural network is efficient and powerful, but it cannot handle temporal modeling. Three-dimension convolution neural network can perform joint spatial temporal feature learning, but it is computationally expensive. If we want to realize the spatial temporal modeling of three dimension convolution neural network with the time complexity of two dimension convolution neural network, we can use the technique proposed in TSM. Following the research of TSM, one dimension convolution on temporal dimension can be divided into shift operation and uh, multiplication accumulation operation. The shift operation does not require numerical operations. We can easily define the shift operation on the dynamic network embedding. Because most uh, dynamic networks are more focused on capture features from historical moments, the shift operation here only shifts the node embedding in the previous moments to the next moment. Now we can use the shift operation with the graph neural network MPE to capture the dynamic of the network. We call this dynamic graph neural network layer as TIME time. By stacking time layers, we can continuously expand the respective field of convolution operations. From the figure, we can see that the network features of the historical time step are continually transferred to the next moment through the shift operation. In the next time step, MP will propagate the historical features on the network and finally realize the aggregation of the network representation in the time dimension. It is worth noting that we did not completely shift the fused features to the next layer, because we focused that if the feature of historical movements are used to completely replace the current features, the spread of historical features on the current motif matrix seems to cause confusion in node features and eventually decrease the embedding quality. Therefore, we combine the historical features with the adjacency matrix so that the network motif matrix still retains the dynamics of the current moment, thus achieving the balance between the historical information of the network and the local structure information. Finally, in this work, we pay more attention to predicting the feature network structure. So we use a loss function based on the random work to enhance the similarity of the agent nodes. For experiments, we use four datasets, UCI, MovieLearns, Epinions, and Alibaba. For baselines, we use two static network embedding methods and seven dynamic network embedding methods.
in the dynamic link prediction experiment, we evaluated the ability of the current node embedding to predict the connections between nodes in the feature network. Among them, the average AUC and the average F1 are used as evaluation indicators. All algorithms are run 10 times and show the average value at all time steps. Our MTSN outperforms all baselines on four networks on dynamic link prediction task. MTSN performs multiple temporal shift operations in time dimension and can efficiently to capture temporal evolution in networks. Moreover, TSN is a variant of our method. It does not consider the network motif, but the results are still better than all baselines, indicating that the time shift module can capture the dynamics of the network well. To understand the impact of motifs in generating node embedding in dynamic network, we visualize motif weights learned at each time steps on UCI in above finger. We can see that the importance of motifs at different time steps in the same dataset is various. In communication network UCI, users are more likely to interact with close friends in the same communities and the dense local structures helps us improve prediction for the feature links. We can find that also the more general motif may be a subgraph of the other types of motif structures. Network motifs with complex structures could preserve some node-specific unique structure which is complementary to more general motif types. From the figure, we find that the performance of our MTSN and TSN increases slightly as embedding dimension and the number of layers increase. And the model performance then keeps stable when the number of layers reach at four. This is because higher-order network structures cannot further improve network representation performance. We also see that improvement in prediction performance of our method requires more time costs. In practice, we can trade off the performance and the efficiency by choosing the model settings according to the requirements of many tasks. So to sum up our work, we present a motif preserving dynamic attributed network embedding MTSN that captures the local high order structures and temporal evolution for dynamic attributed networks. MTSN learns node dynamic representations by staking time layers that model both local high order structural proximities and the temporal dynamics in the dynamic network. And the experiments on four real-world networks demonstrated that MTSN outperforms state-of-the-art baselines in effectiveness on dynamic link prediction. In the future, we will focus on extending the time layer into a bidirectional shift module to capture the network dynamics from future movements. And it is also interesting to explore some better ways to enter network motifs in dynamic network. Thank you for listening, and the code can be found in the link.